Welcome to Florida Fishy Finger. This is episode three in a series I've started looking at technical pulling skips. It's called, You Ever Wonder What the Perfect Technical Pulling Skip Looks Like? It's a sister series to my You Ever Wonder What the Perfect Micro Skip Looks Like series, where I look at cool micro skips and technical pulling skips uh, in this case. And today I want to look at the big brother, I would say, to my boat. Now, I have a Shadowcast 16 from Ancona, which I love, and uh, many videos on the channel about doing weird, wildish things on it, like catching fat slob snook uh, under mangrove, or going offshore and getting a kingfish or a cobia. So subscribe if you're not already. Hey, by the way, while we're taking a commercial break, so to speak, uh, if you need a loan, a small loan for a boat like this, you can go to the link in the description of this video. And uh, they, that is a place where if you qualify, you could get a $500 to $35,000 loan, which is about the amount you would need to get a boat like this. So that makes it easy. I went through credit union. Sometimes you don't need to get you know, the full amount. I had to get a $5,000 loan and as a result of that being the minimum I could get from the bank. So those kinds of things, plus it's just easier online. I mean, who needs the hassle? Anyhow, okay, back to the show. <laughs> yeah. The show is looking at the big brother of my shadow cast. And while I was buying it, I finally looked back at the discussions I had with Mel, who is the uh, elder statesman of Ancona, I think is fair to say. A lot of expertise there, and and uh, it was super cool. He told me about the origin of the shadow cast. He also told me about how the Cayenne had morphed into the shadow cast. The shadow cast was kind of a smaller version of the Cayenne. And if you look at the hull of it, you could see that. I'm just going to flash back and forth between the shadow cast. There it is. And then you look at the. Oh, wrong one, the Advent. Oh, that's a sweet one, too. I'm going to do that one in, a, in an upcoming video, but this one we're just going to cover the Cayenne. So, yeah, it's a bigger version now. I think it's Florida Sportsman has a great video on this. I'd recommend you go check that out if you're if you're considering a boat in this range. This, in my opinion, is a serious technical pulling skiff. You know, this takes everything that my boat is and just amps it up a notch into a place that makes it a serious boat. A much bigger horsepower engine, much wider beam, uh, the, everything is just a little bit bigger and of course one of the most uh, dreamy parts of this particular boat in my humble opinion is that backrest if you've ever spent a day fishing out in the ocean on a small boat having a backrest is a is a heaven send let's say and they even have a padded rest on the center console where you could like sit on the cooler if you had a third person uh, that's pretty cool it's the little things like that. Uh, you can see on the back too, it has that anchor pin spot so they didn't go overboard. You don't have to have a power pole to be able to have a pin. I like that. Uh, and everything's just rigged and ready to go. Like you see the lights on the side and the lights on the back. It's just rigged ready to be put in the water just like I did when I got my shadow cast. Look at the color too. <laughs> yeah, the color counts. I got mine two-tone and they can, they will really work with you, I know, from my experience to get the you know, this, the color right. I got two-tone guide green, which is uh, beautiful. I love this blue color, too. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. I, I got the uh, console and the side the same color with the top of that off, that white, and I love it. Uh, the Tahatsu that I have, I love. I've got a review of mine uh, on the channel. Go check that out if you're interested in seeing how I like mine at, at about the three-year mark. So let's look. More freeboard, yeah. So it, it's up above the water a little bit higher. That's good. Now this is really a reaction video. Other than seeing them in the in the factory being built, which oh, they look so good, but they just look like, to me, compared to what I was looking at a shadow cast, they just look so much bigger. I could never fit them in my garage, so I didn't look that long at them. Just took pictures and kind of drooled a little bit. Uh, they have a tunnel hull. So, again, they're just a freakish boat in terms of how shallow they can go i'm sure at this point if it's a tunnel hull um, you know mine has a tunnel hull this one has a serious tunnel hull optimized tunnel hull they say uh and allows it to get up on plane and stay there yeah but i found that to be the experience with my boat it and it's like i said it's a mini version of this bigger boat 
you know, it'll pop right out of the water. You're on plane in no time at all. And you can go 32 miles an hour even if you got the 40 horse. Wow. But you know you're throwing. I don't know, though. You know, I might... I have to say, even though the idea of going 37 with a 60 horse is alluring, for this boat, my pick, I personally would go with the 40 horse. You're giving up, yeah, five miles an hour, and you are gaining fuel efficiency big time. And I would trade that in a heartbeat because it's not that much more important to go 37 than 32 my opinion when you're going in any kind of chop you're not going to go i wouldn't 32 miles an hour in it anyway you're going to go a little slower than that in most cases in a light boat like this i would say wide walk around gunnels walk around gunnels oh i would love that in mine but i I can walk around on the gunnels in mine but nothing like this i mean this is a whole different level you could still get it with the tiller though That is so cool. Or the center console or the offset console. And the offset console makes a lot of sense to me on this boat as well, even though I'm a traditionalist, I could never do that. But at least with my tradition, a lot of people, that is their tradition. (laughs) But no, I I prefer the center console for a lot of reasons, which we won't enumerate here. That's for a different video. Single dry locker. Uh Uh-huh. The back country, so two separate types of, of uh, additions here. The looks like the tournament edition has much more capacity. Twenty gallon compartments. Yeah, they plumbed my center console with a live well. I've been loving that. Okay, so if you just got the hull, ten four forty, and then the tournament, a little more. Hull weight four fifty, still ultra light boat for that size. Beam. Beam is 71. Yeah, so it's a real boat. <laughs> my boat. My boat is a real boat, but not as real as 71 inch beam. You're you're much more solid in that thing than what you got in mine. Still not that long though, 1611, so still a, a short enough boat. This would at some point potentially be a replacement for my boat in my garage if it wasn't this wide because it would be so tight in there. But maybe I need to get the tape measure out and reconsider. So I look at this website, all I want, every molecule in my body is drawn to purchasing it. Just telling you how I feel. Sample water ready price, 23 grand. Ugh. Oh yeah, that doesn't seem like much for what you would get in that scenario. That's with the 60 on it. So not hard to imagine it'd be a little less for the other one. Oh, look at that polling. So it looks like it's down by Fort Pierce. Beautiful snook infested mangroves of Fort Pierce. What a fishing paradise that is. We're hoping we're getting the uh, Indian River Lagoon cleaned up, folks. Got a little dirty there for a while. Um, Hopefully coming back. And that's for another video. But yeah, that's a solid boat. And you could see how much more how much more freeboard it has above the water there uh, yeah, than something like the shadow cast, which is really so low down. Uh, this is my dream boat. This is my next Envision boat. My oldest son and I have a debate as to which should be my next boat. And I always say Cayenne, and he always says the Salt Marsh. He has a variety he likes, which I'll cover in a future video of this series. So stay tuned. That's another uh, sister company of Ancona. You can see some of the salt marshes, I think, being made in the same place. Not exactly sure. Anyway, if you have any questions about this stuff, you can always contact the good folks at Ancona. And again, if you need a loan, go ahead and look down in the description. Click that. It uh, helps the channel, helps me keep this going. Okay, so thanks for watching Florida Fishy Finger. I appreciate you. Subscribe, turn on the notification bell. New videos like this all the time. Let's talk about boats. And then let's make sure we also go fishing on all the time. Get a little boat like this, your odds of going out greatly increased.